Hi folks, I'm at um, Luster's. Luster's Diner in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, if you've visited me here, then uh, you know this place. It's on State Route 84, just a couple a couple blocks really from my house. But I um, thought I'd end the week with a more uh, upbeat venue. Try not to talk with my mouth full too much and talk about a very critical topic, which is how will we deal with the sovereignties and authorities of wickedness among the celestials? We know that's where we're headed. Our destiny is to reconcile the universe to God through Christ. Oh, by the way, I'm eating the Broward County Special. Um, scrambled eggs, hash, br hash browns right there, sausage, and um, of course your choice of bread, the Broward County Special, that's me. We're gonna be reconciling the universe, but we have to know our enemy. We have to know our enemy. No one will be more suited to know the enemy than we will. Why? Because we're already battling them. Do you understand this? We are already battling them. Paul writes in Ephesians 6.12 that we are not wrestling against blood and flesh, but against principalities, powers, world mights of darkness among the celestials. But they are coming at us through the agency of flesh and blood and there's a secret in operation now that will no longer be in operation once we're snatched away and it's called the secret of lawlessness oh shoot I got my boy I got problems here I have my camera lodged up against the ketchup and I really need to catch up oh my gosh let's see if I can do this this is all gonna go to smash I had it so well planned I'll have to put it by the jelly I got, it. I got it by the jelly now. I just had to have the ketchup and hash browns. I had had the ketchup. Whew. All right, now let's put the ketchup back, relodge the phone. I mean, you know, we have our priorities here. We know how they operate because they're operating now under the secret of lawlessness. The secret of lawlessness is that lawlessness now operates posed as righteousness. And righteousness is seen to be lawless. And we're being attacked by this opposite world. We're being attacked by this upside down world where right is called wrong and wrong is called right. And it's making us potentially crazy, but it shouldn't because we know our enemy. We know our enemy. And so, when we meet these creatures, okay, thank you. we will know them because we will already have encountered them here on Earth. We will already have encountered them. Think about it. Oh, so you're the one. I know you. You're the one who turned my son against me. You're the one who captured my son and kidnapped him into the Christian religion. We know their tactics, so we will be able to deal with them. And we're already dealing with them. We're now in on-the-job training right now, because again, even though it's flesh and blood coming against you, flesh and blood is not the source. These flesh and blood uh, individuals are being co-opted. They've been hijacked by these spiritual powers. Speaking of my son, you want to hear about an upside down world? I, I didn't tell you this. You remember, uh, maybe it was three months ago, four months ago, I don't know when it was, when I started teaching in depth on Romans 6, 7, and 8, how we're freed from sin and how freedom from sin means we no longer have to worry about our failures and that Christ called us while we, was, we were still sinners. Uh, we got into depth of Romans 7 like never before. That was inspired by a letter written to me by my son. This is going to be a short video this morning. I'm going to give you a lot to think about over the weekend. My son wrote me a letter telling me that I was no longer able to see my grandkids. I was no longer welcomed into his house. My youngest son, Paul, who I raised in the truth along with my other sons. Dad, you're no longer, you're no longer welcome into our home. 
and you are no longer able to see your grandchildren. Uh, that's a lot worse than a abscess tooth, yeah? You want to hear the reason why? I have a quote from the letter. This is why. Welcome to Upside Down World. Let me preempt the statement, the quote from the letter by saying this. My son is assistant pastor at Life Point Church in Marion, Ohio. Totally co-opted by the Christian world. Swallowed the entire Christian lie of eternal torment, of course, the Trinity, free will, the, everything, everything, just kidnapped and brainwashed. And I have to look through that and see demonic source. And I'm going to meet that, that demonic source. And I already know that demonic source because I, as a member of the body of Christ and you, we are acquainted with the secret of lawlessness. Paul says it's already in operation. The secret of lawlessness, again, is that lawlessness poses as righteousness. It's hidden. It's covert. And righteousness is seen to be wrong. Righteousness is seen to be criminal. We're looked upon as evildoers, just like the Apostle Paul was. That It's all going to end. The, the masks are all going to come off at the snatching away. Read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. The detainer, once the detainer is taken on, out of the way, then the man of lawlessness will be unveiled. But until that time, lawlessness itself, including the man of lawlessness, is veiled as righteousness. Good hash brown. Good hash browns at Lester's. It's a 50s style diner, which I, which I really like. You want, you want to take a look at it? Uh, Lester's. I can't look around too good. There we go. It's great for fifties. It's got a nice fifties vibe, yeah. All right, here's upside down world. A quote from my son Paul to me. Dad, I cannot allow my children to think it's okay to enjoy the fellowship of someone who one hates the true gospel, two, promotes sin, and three, makes a mockery of Jesus. Come on. Doing fine. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. She likes me. She doesn't think I'm an evil person who makes a mockery of Jesus, hates the true gospel, and promotes sin. See, anyone teaching grace will be accused of promoting sin. We went through all that with Romans 6, 7, and 8. Anyone, anyone teaching Paul rightly will be accused of promoting sin because we teach that where sin increases, grace superabounds. I cannot allow my children to think it's okay to enjoy the fellowship of someone who hates the true gospel. I hate the true gospel, according to my son. This is somebody who believes in eternal torment and human free will, that man man decides his destiny not christ hates the true gospel promotes sin standard issue and makes a mockery of jesus for 31 years i've been announcing the success of the cross while he is actively promoting the failure of christ to save the world when that was his intention to save the world but he didn't do it i'm making a mockery of jesus it's upside down world but i know my enemy that's why I can calmly eat breakfast and read this horseshit to you. It's 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 painful, but it, I know my enemy. My enemy's not my son Paul. My enemy is the power of darkness behind Paul. Another quote, I love you enough to yet again warn you and call you to repentance. My desire is for your repentance for you to truly understand who Jesus is, what he has done for you, and how you can live your life in freedom. I can live my life in freedom, and my son, who believes in great attempts 
to become blameless, to live perfectly according to law, is going to tell me how to live in freedom. And my son Paul, who believes that the cross failed to save anyone, really. Jesus saved no one. Salvation depends on a person's belief in Jesus. That person is going to help me understand what Jesus has done for me. And it's that one, my son, who will help me understand who Jesus truly is. This is the upside down world we live in. You know about it. You all are suffering under it. It's temporary. It's not going to last much longer. And when we arrive at our destination, we're going to know our enemy. And I'm going to look at my spiritual enemy and say, you're the one. You're the one. It's not my son. It's not your friend. It's not your father. It's not your mother. It's these spiritual forces of wickedness. But we already know the game. And the game is up.